Hello everyone, I'm the Crumulant Archer and welcome to a new game of RimWorld. I'm calling this RimWorld Seinfeld, or Seinfeld RimWorld, one of the ways, whichever sounds better. Um, <laughs> I wanted to do a playthrough where everybody was neurotic, was the was the original genesis of this idea. Because I think it would be interesting to try and manage all of the, the mental break issues that accompany it. And then I thought, what's a, st what's a fictional story where everybody in the, in the story is neurotic? And you know what I think I came up with? Seinfeld. So we're gonna do a Seinfeld playthrough. It's lightly modded. Um, nothing too crazy. Mostly just, um, it's mostly just quality of life mods and a few things like the Megafauna mod that are just kind of fun. Psychology's in there. But I didn't want to do too much because, uh, if you do too much then it either becomes a lot easier or a lot harder to manage moods depending on how things go. So yeah, so so it's not not a ton of, of mods, but but there are a few in there. There'll be a list of these somewhere in the description of the video. But uh, yeah, so let's get in there. So these are our four characters, the good old uh, Seinfeld bunch. We got Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld. I I tried to to do their traits and stuff to make sense. So he's a I did him as a Boy Scout. I don't know, it felt okay. I went with Evangelist because um, stand-up comic is not an option, and Evangelist felt kind of like a stand-up comic, but, you know, not... Evangelism was kind of like stand-up comedy for God, right? Something like that. <laughs> and of course he's neurotic, because everybody is. He's an optimist, because he was always the, the most optimistic of the group. And then I made him psychically dull, because he tends to not really pay that much attention to what's happening to other people. And just because I wanted a third thing. Then we got good old George Costanza here. He was a sickly child and is a low-wage worker. He is very neurotic. So George, instead of being just regular neurotic, is very neurotic. And he's a psychopath, because we all know George is a psychopath. And you got Kramer. He was an abandoned child. And an adventurous weirdo as an adult. He is neurotic and a fast walker. And then we have Elaine, who is... I didn't really know exactly what to do with her storyline. So I went with the explorer writer. I know her boss was more the explorer writer, but it seemed to work. And then she's neurotic and pretty. I wanted to do like a clumsy or something, but there wasn't actually an option for that. In terms of their skills, I didn't actually arrange their skills so much um, with their with their uh, personality backgrounds. I just tried to get a good mix of skills for a decent colony. So that's our group. And uh, now we'll get into the actual game. Alright, so welcome into the game. So here's the storyline. One day, the three, the four Seinfeld crew were sitting around in Jerry's apartment. Probably talking about something nonsens nonsensical. And they were magically transported to the rim. And so here they are. His apartment got, got uh, teleported to the rim. I did my best to to make his room, his apartment look like that in RimWorld. It's a little tricky because there's no like diagonal walls, which there's several diagonal walls in George's in uh, Jerry's apartment. But yeah, I think this is pretty good. We got Elaine, we got George, we got Jerry, we got Kramer. And we also have our factions here, which are the Costanzas, run, led by Estelle, who are Civil Outlander Union. We've got the Bizarro Group, led by Kevin Bizarro Jerry. Got the Putties, the General Triumph, David Putty, as their chief. The Soup Nazis, they have the Soup Nazi as their, their leader. We, of course, have the Newmans as the pirate band. And then I just left the Orion installation in there by themselves, because whatever. It's fine. <laughs> so we're going to start with this. We are running, storyteller-wise, we are running Randy Random, Merciless Level. And, uh, yeah, so... I have reload anytime set because it's a pain to have it set the other way. And so this is our map. It's slightly larger. I always play with a slightly larger map than the default because I like a slightly larger map. This is where we live. It's boar it's a temperate forest or boreal forest. I can't remember now. Temperate forest. Yeah, right here. So we've got uh, we got soup Nazis to the west. Putties to the southwest. Got some uh, Orions over here, and oh, two two Orion installations. Got Bizarro's way over there. 
These Newmans are over here. Where are the Costanzas? We don't have any Costanzas on the map. What color are they? They're purple. Oh, there's Costanza way over there. All right, we're not going to be visiting them anytime soon. Also way up there. All right. Well, let's get to rolling. So this little valley is going to be our home. This is clearly an ancient danger. Got some Brachiosaurs hanging out. We got some of these things. Gigantelopes. Oh, that's right. They're, the, they're like Super Muffalo. They're from the Alpha Animals mod. Yeah, so let's uh, let's get rolling here. So we're going to need a stockpile first. You guys are all released now. Oh, I should do their assignments. Yeah, all right. So firefighting, patienting, uh, doctoring, those two undoctoring. Bed rest is always two. Hall basic is a one. You're our warden. You're our handler. Also, entertainment. George Cooks. Kramer constructs, Jerry helps construct. George is also the grower, with a little help from Elaine. George will be the miner when that comes into a thing. Right now everybody hauls, everybody cleans. Elaine is gonna be our researcher. It's so actually you don't. You don't haul or clean. Oh no, I need this like this. You don't haul or clean. After research. You do it, but not until you've done research. Alright. So that'll work for now. So we need some power. We, we have a TV, and we have a computer. Um, but we don't have any power at the moment. Oh, so they're putting, finally putting roofs on this building, because... I didn't do that when I was building it ahead of time. Yeah, alright, so let's see, what do we got? Uh, wise. You are... You're our melee person, right? So here, come get this. And this. And I guess the helmet, too. Who's our best shot? George is our best shot. Jerry, come get this. Kramer, I guess we'll just want to have a weapon for the moment. It's fine. Alright, let's put, um... Put our stockpile back in this corner for the moment. We can zoom, can uh, close that whole thing in. <clears throat> what do we have in terms of stuff? So, just so you know, the, the neurotic trait should can extend beyond just our, um, just our group. Literally everybody should be neurotic, is, is how the rules should go. But we'll see. It's possible things are going to be a little wonky. Alright, temporarily let's put some sleep spots in here. Let them pick everything up before we get worried about too much else. Oop, opponents over here. I call those urgently, please. So I should have the yeah the reduce. This is one of the mods. So there's not that extra, not that much extra that's been added to the research screen because I'm not running that many mods. But uh, I guess I gotta take. George doesn't have a gun? I thought I told George to get a gun. Was it Kramer? Oh, oh, I must miss them up. Alright. Kramer. You should drop that gun. George gets that gun. What do we have for power right now? No wind turbines. Okay. Is this rich soil or no? This is mud. Okay. Definitely not rich soil. Whatever, we'll put it right here. I need a 
lose some of these trees. Also this one. We'll put the growing zone right at the base of this tree. Whoa! That was unexpected. Ooh. Saucy. Elaine tried to woo George by exaggerating her own intellectual skills. George is attracted, now El is Elaine's lover. That's a surprise. Okay. I was not expecting that. Alright, we'll put Elaine and uh, George in here. I just thought you'd at least save that for sweeps. Come on, guys. Oh, Brian, your brake risk already. Soaking wet, yeah. Gonna work in the dark, huh, George? It's a weird choice. Alright, okay, let's get three times speed here. All right, so let's see. There's a there's a bed here. It's normal quality, so we can steal it. Oh, we got some more meals out there. Trying to see if there's any more beds or anything hanging around on the map. I don't see any. I do, however, need to clear the home zone that always gets created when you do something like that. Alright, so this is going to be one... I guess we'll leave this intact. The smart thing to do would be to split it up and redesign it, but we'll just leave it as is. And we will go and build... No, I need 13 by 13. Nice square here. Uh, temperature. Yes, vent. Vent, 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 vent. Door, door. Whenever I'm putting down the doors, I'm always like, don't accidentally create a swastika. <laughs> do not want to do that. I got some uranium right there in the wall. Alright, I wonder if I can fit... Lynx is hunting George. That's not good. Get it, Elaine. Get it. Hey, there you go, team. How badly hurt are you? A little scratched up. Nothing too terrible. Oh, right already. Oh, the Newmans are here. We got four Newmans arriving. They're actually looking a little rough. Um, in terms of something we have to deal with. Alright, you are an okay doctor, right? Yes. Allow self care. I just want you to. I just want you to get this done. Quickly. Are they milling? Uh, no, they're attacking immediately. Which way are they likely to come? Probably gonna break around this way. Well, Kramer, you come and hide because you don't have a gun. Jerry, here. Yeah, they're breaking that direction. All right, Elaine, I need you come here, please. George, stay by this tree. It's Uncle Leo. All right, we 
wait till he gets around the corner and get him. Destroyed his pinky. Kill him. Stab him. There, all right, Elaine, fall back. You got shot, but it's not too bad. Come on, guys. Put him down. If you put Leo down, they'll probably run. Come on. You guys can do it. I believe in you. There they go. Okay, yeah. All right, Elaine. See if you can get go stab that guy. No, there's no way you're gonna make that. Never mind. All right, Kramer, come grab this gun. Got some drugs. I suppose I need a place to put bodies now. Let's put it over here. Kind of out. Kind of out of sight. And tell your boss, Newman. That ain't gonna fly. Poor Jerry lost his bedroom to Elaine. <laughs> George. <laughs> yes, I know we need batteries. Oh, I was going to see if I could sneak a, uh, a research bench in this room. Yeah, I can put it there. And they can use the, the, the chair. Let's um, just move this that right there. Kramer's watching TV. Good. Good. Good for his uh problems. I really need somebody to come destroy these trees. Wait till somebody wakes up in the morning. Don't want to rush them. <clears throat> Can you come cut these first before you do what it is you're going to do there? I would like this running at full power. There we go. Not blocked by anything now. Let's put a lamp right in the middle of the room. Actually, I'll we'll put it on the side of the... I think in the... In the actual show, there's a... Uh, there's a lamp to the side of the... Couch, if memory serves, so... Group of putties are passing by. Hello, friends. I suppose I need to actually run power through the walls. I want this to be used for anything. Alright, research wise, batteries. Batteries are first, then solar panels. Then we'll reevaluate. It'll be Jerry's room. Man, I hope George and Elaine don't break up. George is neurotic. He's going to have problems with uh, mental breaks as it is. Really don't need him uh, completely losing it. Got a dual fridge.
All right, so let's put a butcher table right, butcher table right here. I'm gonna build a roof over here. Yeah, we don't have any defenses, but we don't have the ability to make any yet. So, you know, what you gonna do? What you thinking, Jerry? Disturb sleep. Spacious interior, somewhat impressive dining room, slightly impressive rec room. Lane's doing some research for us. She's pretty good at it, so she should make relatively short work. George is planting some crops. Uh, do I have the tilled soil mod installed? I do. Okay. Let's do that. Let's till some soil. <clears throat> Um, we're gonna be the Seinfelds. This is going to be the apartment. Alright, I don't think we're gonna make it with this Lynx. We might. 14 hours, depends on what they prioritize, I guess. Build this instead of worrying about the roof. There we go. Okay. Bills, add bill, butcher creature. You can do that forever. George is on it. We need a meal source. Let's get rid of... This thing is what, two? I can't remember if it's two or three squares long. Three squares long. So let's let's delete the, um, the cabinetry here. And we'll add a cooktop. All right, so structure, electric stove. I kind of want to build a weird noise. I don't know what that weird noise was. I kind of want to build a um, second one of these guys facing the other direction. Jerry. All right, good. Batteries are done. Yeah, something's. I wonder if, it's a, if the Brachiosaurus is making that noise. Colonist groups. Okay, whatever. Something is making a strange noise every once in a while. All right, where am I gonna put the battery? I'm gonna put the battery. Let's put the battery in the bathroom for now. Considering we can't actually use the bathroom for anything. It's just a nice chair to sit in. <laughs> Meat's just in there right now, okay. Let's see, all right, uh, bills, nope. Click the buttons correctly, bills. Simple meal, do until you have 10, please. I expect to put them in the refrigerator, yes. Blocked by wind, ah, I messed it up. I hate it when I do that. Needs to be one more square out. Shoot frenzy. George is in a shoot frenzy. So 
So far, knock on wood, so far our uh, moods are pretty good. Let's see how long that lasts. Alright, one thing I would like to do is to unforbid all. I'm going to add two things across the map. Alright, so there's not much extra junk sitting around, it looks like. Let's deconstruct that. That'll be some extra steel. Harvest some of these wild things. What are you going after? Well, there's a little bit of steel. Oh, there's a pool table down here. Get that at some point. I don't really want to add it to our uh, stock at the moment. Oh, there's a whole bunch of steel down here. Who's doing way over there? I hope this thing doesn't hit the, this wall now. Oh, just barely. <laughs> So close. All right, we're good. Oh, they didn't actually manage to finish this little bit in the middle. I don't think it hurts anything, though. Doesn't seem to hurt anything. We should put some uh, some flooring down. Also, we should move this. Oh, it's working. Never mind. I was going to say this this filing cabinet gives us a, a boost to research, but it actually works from that distance. Didn't think it would stretch that far. Oh, you know what I need that we haven't built yet? The Festivus pole. Also known as a uh, research or a horseshoe pin. Solar flares all over. Good. All right. So, wow. The brachiosaurus is just going to sleep in the middle of our fields. I guess. <laughs> it's summer. Hope the Seinfeld crew are enjoying their new lives in the rural rim. It's not quite the same as the whiz -bang, speedy nature of New York City. Alright, power's good. Playing horseshoes, excellent. Oh, I forgot I was gonna do this. I always, I was just, my philosophy on sleeping or on restrictions is that they must go to sleep at a reasonable time, but they can get up whenever they feel like it. And unless somebody comes a problem, I don't usually give them specific recreation periods, which might become a thing because we have our neurotic friends here. Oh, we lost some of the lynx meat. Alright, well, I'm going to stop here for today. Thanks for joining me. This is the Seinfeld RimWorld playthrough. I hope you enjoy it. I think it's going to be an interesting little gimmick. Um, we'll see how it goes. They might all die horribly. In fact, they probably will die horribly. It's just a matter of time. I am, as always, the Criminal Archer. Thanks for joining me. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you want to see more in the future. And I will see you later. Thanks so much.